Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again and this time we're going to go as good old Hand. We do like him. We can take a secondary as well here. I think I'm going to go with the Golden Crossbow just because obviously potential chance of getting a nice little uh, bolt marrow early on and then we've got the lance here i think with the two weapons now it makes so much sense to always start with a melee weapon just because you've got that opportunity to make sure that you're not going to get stuck in the earlier areas with um ammo constraints i mean and also as well like the damage of some of the melee weapons is pretty goddamn amazing um but yeah, you guys know the you guys know the drill now. We always go this area first. In fact, to be fair, this character with melee is kind of fun because we've got the combination of the fist plus the melee weapon, which I think is kind of unique. Um, the fist obviously is very very strong in itself, and then mixing that with the melee weapon is pretty fun. I like it. Uh, there's some more enemies back down here. That was a a rather terrible hit by me there, but it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna go inverted area this time around. I know obviously we could be taking the extra stuff. Uh, push enemies with your hand. Um, your hand deals more damage. Enemies pushed into walls take even more damage. Let's give that a go, shall we? Um, and we'll go with that as well. I really love the, uh, the color palette of this area as well. I think it's really good. But yeah, I think the, the, the sort of multiple melee path taking here is, is really nice. And we kind of discovered in the last episode, actually, just how, like, broken melee can be and how important it is for, like, going on late game runs. It's something that I, 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 I have been underrating. I wouldn't even say underrating. I just haven't given the opportunity to shine is more so the issue. Um, I think now giving it the opportunity to shine and giving it the opportunity to show what it can do, much more important. Um, what the hell is this here? Triple blood rifle? Um... Where did my lance go? Oh, I just didn't pick it back up, I see. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with these two. I'll stick with these two. Um, and then... Extra feet could be kind of good. Extra feet's always pretty decent. Let, let, let's grab it. Let's take it. Um, we'll take out these guys as well for some extra rads. As we do, as we do. The pushing into walls thing is kind of intriguing with the throne but obviously it pr it changes the dy dynamic of the uh of the ability pretty heavily but this is definitely one of the characters that i find i like to use the ability a lot more often i think it's just because it's a damaging ability the utility abilities and the defense abilities i don't really tend to use too much also this guy very important to use melee on this dude um double disc gun you are crazy if you think i'm taking that We've got some overheal going on here. I'm not quite sure where we got the overheal from, but I like it. I definitely like it. Um, let's go with tough shell as we tend to do when we're trying to go for these later runs. But I think last episode kind of proved to me and probably to some of you that I have it in me to go a little bit further when I want to. When I want to play the game and actually try, uh, try getting to later runs rather than just doing wacky setups. So I want to I try and make that a slightly more regular occurrence. I still want to do wacky stuff, and I'm still going to make some dumb, dumb, dumb mistakes. And I'm glad for those mistakes. But I do want to try my hand at being a little more careful about my mutation choices and my, the way that I play. Unfortunately, it's kind of a hard stage right now. Um, we got ourselves an electric thing there. There was a heavy hammer there that I missed. That's my bad. Um... I, I actually found Inner Peace to be kind of insane on our last run. Uh, for late game, having those barriers stacked up and ready to go was uh, was very, very important. Just use this blood weapon here to keep these enemies back. Because th these enemies are actually really, really annoying with the amount of shots they produce. I think being able to knock them back, keep them away is really nice. I mean, the fist is also doing a mighty good job of keeping enemies away. I just love, like, bashing them into walls. It's funny. The damage isn't super high, but it's it's doing us a service right now. Hey, another inverted area there. Lovely. Heavy sledgehammer. See, the heavy sledgehammer's really tempting, but honestly, the melee on it is so insanely slow. <laughs> it's one of those weapons that you need to have uh, trigger fingers for, which we just got given to us. 
a little bit of a shame I didn't take it there. In fact, probably should have done. These bushes, they scare me. Right, now these are bullets we cannot deflect. We can only slow down, so... The inverted area of this area is not going to be the easiest for us. Yeah, we're probably going to take some heavy damage if I'm not careful. It's not too bad. I've just got to sort of carefully navigate my way around some of this. The morph is kind of helping as well, though, for blocking shots and stuff. Do double morph. I don't even know what double morph does, but I will take it. Um, replace radiation. Yeah, I'm not sure what having two lots of moth does. It'd be nice if there was some sort of indication of what stacking them did for you. Um, I'm guessing it just means that they morph at a lower HP gauge or something, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't take open mind that much anymore, do I? But then again, I don't feel, really feel like I need to. Eagle Eyes is eh, not really good with the melee setup. Serene Dreams, though, is something that I, I feel I don't really take very often anymore. I think that paired with Gamma Guts could be... Um, could be a, a real ticket to success. It's just not something I've given a, a proper try. Now, remember, Bush Box here doesn't move um, the way that you think he would. Instead, he moves on um, vertical and horizontal rather than diagonal. Which I actually really like the, the way that they've uh, balanced the Bush Box like that. I think it's a really cool idea. I'm not sure what's harder, to be honest. Diagonal's a little less predictable. But you want to be on the uh, on the horizontal and vertical normally, so that's kind of harder in that way. I'm going to take this guy out here because he's getting on my nerves. The knockback is helping, I'll say that. The only thing is we're not doing the most damage. Um, we can bring the sheep home, do we want to do that? The range on the fist is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. So good. Get out of here, you. Bouncer crash. Ooh, bouncer crash, you say. I'll take a bouncer crash. It is cursed, but... Like, just, just look at that. That's, that's pretty special. Imagine that on YC. My goodness, that would be good. Ooh. Eagle eyes with that could be interesting. Let's give that a go. Oh, yes, it is. It's more directional now. The ammo situation with this thing seems like it could be a little... A little bit difficult, but I actually quite like this. What we got going on here? Kraken gun? I think always when you see like a tier sort of 7 or 8 gun early on, you probably want to be taking it anyways. They are just very, very useful to have. One minute, my microphone's not quite lined up correctly. There you go, is that a bit better? Probably doesn't sound any different to you guys, but it feels better for me. Shotgun Lance. See, now this, this is the sort of thing I want. Shotgun Lance, I already had the Lance. Now I have a shotgun built in too. And it literally does do both. The only obviously problem with this is the fact that um, it does consume ammo now. Although, I do wonder, can I still use the lance once the shotgun ammo is depleted? Probably not. That might be a little too strong, but it'd be cool if it, that, that's how it works. I like it so far. Shotgun lance is uh, best of both worlds for us right now. Ooh, we got a flail. Yes, please. I actually really enjoy the flail, so I'll take that. And then we got Eagle Eyes with a shotgun as well, which is pretty nice. The fact that the Flail is um, able to hit such a wide range. Dude, we're level 10 already. What the hell? Um, all damage you deal to an enemy is increased depending on how close you are to them. That's pretty good. Um, walls contain swarming bolts. That's pretty good. You can have two hands out at a time. Um, you can have three hands out while in an inverted area. Potentially interesting. Allows you to your hand to collect pickups and rads. Hand leaves a trail that speeds you up and slows enemies down, including projectiles. Hand is faster. The hand is even faster in inverted areas. And explosive hands. Hand is slower. Normal hand speed is in inverted areas. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. Fiery hands, more fire damage. Homing fire, even more fire damage while in inverted areas. I don't know. This is kind of a tricky one. Um, I'm going to go with the, the walls one. Because we destroy a lot of walls, and if we get impact wrists as well at some point somehow, 
I don't know. That could be that could be pretty fun. And just had a thought: if we convert swarm, that could be pretty interesting. Yeah, if we get if we get a convert swarm, I wonder how that would play out for us. But yeah, I think the trick kind of really here is to go pretty much melee only if you get the melee weapons to do it until you get to like loop two and then you can start picking up the crazy weapons. Jackhammer. I've never really found a use for the jackhammer. Seems like it could be good, but I don't know. It's not for me. Right, so if we go in here... And we go and do the challenge, which I think we can do now. Uh, homing, rel oh, reload speed, definitely. Right, where where art thou challenged? Oh, there's another one of you alive. Hello. Oh, do do we not have the challenge until we get to loop? It seems that it seems like that's the way that that's working. Which I don't I don't think that was the way it used to work, but fair enough. Laser cannon is. Pretty good, but it's the same tier as this, so I'll stick with this for now, and we'll try and get onto a loop. But that is, that is a mighty, mighty quick journey to the throne here. It's one thing I do actually really like about Nuclear Throne. Okay, this is not going well. Okay, they're, they're dying way faster now. Okay, you went backwards for some reason. I'm not quite sure why he's going backwards now. Is that because I got behind him slightly? I don't know. It's good for me right now. Cool. Okay, we did it. Nice. Good stuff. And then this is going to be slightly harder, I think. The no I guess it was the knockback from my hand, maybe, that was pushing him back, which I kind of am surprised that that works on the throne, but I'm not going to complain about it working. Why would I? First throne is, 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 like, super, super easy for us here. It's just kind of a, a patience game right now. There you go. We're not doing the most damage, so it's just kind of waiting. We're on to loop, though. Pretty good. Um, hello, hello. I will just reduce vans, thank you. I really like reducing vans in the first loop. It's not, like, necessary, but it, it, it just makes things a bit easier. Dude, I so wish right now that I had, uh, impact wrists. It would be very, very good. We lost all of our inner peace there pretty quickly, in, in fact. Where we go? Some of these enemies are taking quite the beating before they die. Why are we overhealing so much? Is that from our ultra? That, I think it was portals overheal 4, wasn't it? So, I think it is. Get out of here, you. Right, go through here. What on earth is that? Hyper Assault Shotgun. Ooh, baby. Hyper Assault Shotgun. I'll take that. That sounds fun. Um, I guess I'll put Flame on this thing. Why not? Right. Let's take on the challenge. We got, we got this thing, which I haven't picked up in ages. I've kind of left it there for a while. I think I can do this with the weapons I have. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat confident. Not as confident after how long it took to kill that guy, to be honest. Did 
The ability to melee to destroy things is helping. Snipers doing their thing. Plus one over here, I like that. Ah! I locked myself in a wall there, that was kind of stupid. Oh god. Things have uh, things have progressed in a bad way. Little hunter's just chilling there apparently. Where'd little hunter go? Oh, there you go, okay. So we want to get Swarm to something else. Swarm to Toxic, no thank you. So that's what Swarm looks like, it looks like a little thing. Swarm to Frost? See, I don't know how that works, is that a Frost Projectile? Or what? Like... Unfortunately, we didn't get many Swarm ones. We got Swarm to Toxic or Swarm to Frost. I'm gonna try it and see how that works. But, I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, did I do frost to swarm? Or does it does it go both ways? I think I did frost to swarm there. Frost flames with swarm. Oh, I'm stupid. I got it the wrong way around. Okay, so that might not do anything. We'll see. Whoa, crown of fright. Excess damage spawn. So, uh, we, we, we played around with that before, but it also got rid of the goddamn crown that I wanted. Um, your weapons fire twice, double reload. Uh, reload time is almost doubled. I'm just going to take no crown then, because it got rid of the crown I wanted to use. Oh wait, no, it does seem to... Okay, it does seem to be working. Yeah, it seems that we're spawning frost. Nice. The flail is doing as well right now. I like it. Like I said, I just wish I had impact risks. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Take off fire. Now we've got swarm on the weapon as well. This is a good area, this, because it's very easy for us to destroy walls. Obviously, the destroying walls thing doesn't make a massive load of difference, but it's just like a nice sort of cute little synergy. Where's this boss at? There he is. Do you want to chill out, my guy? There you go. Took a bit of doing. So far, so good, though. I definitely think I've found a, a better way to play. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to sort of play melee until I can find a really good weapon that's really going to carry us. But at the minute, I think loop two is kind of when those weapons start becoming more available. Oh, we can do swarm again on this thing. Excuse me, good sir. Whatever you're doing, not wanted around these parts. Right, um... Swarm, replace swarm, replace reload speed, replace more. There we go. Give me that back. Cool, okay. Uh, we'll go and grab some of our bonuses, wherever they are. We got this one, this one, and this one. So we got to do Hyper Crystal, Big Fish, and the good old Cat Fella. We're at 17 out of 9 HP. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know when that happened. I think it's because we're, we're using, um, what's it called? The inner piece to like make sure we don't take actual damage. And so the overhealing is having chance to kind of go wild until we lose it all as I just did. I tried my best to kill this guy, but it was not working. 
But yeah, I think inner peace is really helping out. Beautiful. We've got to try and keep inner peace built up if we can. Which isn't particularly easy. It's very easy to take damage and lose it, but... I, th I think for looping, inner peace is like kind of a must now. Now that I know how it works. Well, that was a kind of an easy flaw. Hoping we get like an explosive flail or lightning flail or something soon. Another type of flail with an element on it would be rather nice. I, I've actually taken real damage. To be fair though, how wouldn't I at this stage? Do you know what? Something I do need to do, I do need to turn down the game a little bit, which sounds ridiculous because my game's on like 3% volume, but this does get really, really hectic. And I'm noticing that the volume levels are a bit crazy, so I'll turn that down for you guys. Hopefully it's not too low now. Right. Uh, I'm going to go inverted because I think that'll lead me to Cheshire. <gasps> The Triple Swarm Dream. That's beautiful. That is unexpected, but beautiful. The Inverted Dragon. Now, yeah, I was just about to say, the dragon can absolutely rock me if I'm not careful. So I've got to be very cautious and in fact I think I'm gonna die yeah that is unfortunate that is unfortunate that was a really fun run though um I, I had a really good time I hope you guys did enjoy that one too and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one